Hi there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com. So you're probably wondering why I'm dressed up as I am. Um, and the reason is because today I have gone for an interview. Um, so it was a job interview. Uh, it was actually for a, a social worker. Um, so looking after um, adults with um, special medical conditions, uh, special um, learning disabilities, um, maybe mental health issues as well. And the reason I really wanted to shoot this video is because having gone through that interview today, I really had a thought about, you know, looking around in the traditional job market as a young person. Uh, and it really brought back to me when I first moved here to Wales. Um, I was looking for a job and um, I applied for so, so many online. I was desperate to get something. It was January. Um, it is a tourist area so I didn't think there would be much going but there was um, and I just remember being very very kind of frantic in my approach and just searching for um, any jobs which I thought suited me um, you know a lot of customer sales jobs um, you know I'd worked previously in, in, uh, in retail um, as a counter assistant um, but also things as well like a supermarket, I even applied to McDonald's, I actually got turned down um, for any of you who've been through their application process and um, yeah I really wanted to talk with you about that because I was having a think later today and I thought well thank goodness because um, you know starting your own business you don't have to go through the interviews um, as I say when I first moved here I must have applied to probably about 25 jobs um, and you know I remember the amount of people who didn't get back to me, the amount of people who you know the jobs that I really wanted I wasn't getting um, because I hadn't actually done them before although I knew I was capable um, in my, uh, for myself I'm talking about a lot of um, receptionist jobs I remember applying for a job as a medical receptionist and knew I could do the job um, knew I had the qualities, knew I had the skills and I got turned down from that so I think at the end of the day when it comes to applying for traditional jobs as a young person so often we run into the experience of oh you haven't got the qualifications, you haven't got the experience you know and I remember being in this very vicious cycle of needing to get a job to get the experience to get the job and um, it was really really a crazy way of doing it you know I knew I had the personal qualities I knew I was more than capable of, you know, interacting with the customers, say, you know, interaction is something that you do all your life. Um, so for those of you who have ever been on that frustrating journey, um, I was really having to think about this today and about all you guys out there who might be going through this or looking to maybe get your first job after university. Um, maybe you are quite lucky, you have a specific niche as a result of that. But maybe you're still, you know, applying for jobs and the one that you really want, you know, you're not hearing back from. Um, and I just don't want to start as a young person now that I have started my own business. Because as I say, I didn't have to go through that application process. It was really up to me as to whether it was a journey I wanted to embark on. And I was on a call today um, and the trainer was saying, you know, that the people who that you're trying to help out there, um, the people that we're all trying to help in life, are often people who are exactly like ourselves, who are maybe looking for, for what we've found and that we have really a duty to share that with people. And she was asking me as one of the many members on this call, um, as a training that I get through business I'm part of, you know, what would have really happened if we hadn't have started? Um, and I really sort of went in on myself in that and I thought, what what would I be like? What type of person would I be like if I hadn't started my own business? And it brought back a lot of memories. See, I remember being, you know, in a place where life was ticking over. Life was ticking over. I was working and and I'd found a job, I was renting a flat with my brother um, and like things were just ticking over so I was getting in the food and um, you know getting the washing done, uh, 
keeping the house clean um, but life wasn't actually really going anywhere and I was pretty stuck I must say you know on the outside it look, would have looked great you know you're holding down a steady job you've got your own flat you know you're keeping up on it you're paying your rent you're paying your bills but life for me was just not going anywhere it was it was dead and I lived in a very very physical world where you know I, I couldn't just stop I couldn't just stop my job and say oh um, you know I need some time to explore myself because I didn't have the income um, I didn't you know I, I didn't have really or didn't feel I had a backup if I just you know, cut my income um, if I didn't keep on top of the house it would have got on top of me um, you know so from the outside it looks like you're all doing conky dory but inside life was just not going anywhere time was passing but it wasn't going anywhere and um, and I just want to read out a few notes to you about um, how I really felt because I stopped at that moment on the call and I, I really wrote down some thoughts so um, so basically what was happening really in that time was that I, although I was working very very hard um, I wasn't making any improvement to my life situation um, I was just doing the same thing over and over again um, you know if you do that and you hope for a different result it's called insanity right um, and I still as I say didn't feel I had enough money or really the right to go back to education I'd gone to university left after a month I wasn't in a good place it didn't feel right didn't sit right with me um, I was sick and tired of the education system if I'm totally honest um, having been in it from the age of 4 to the age of 18 and I, I just felt I hadn't experienced the world I'd just been in an institution, not a bad institution but I'd been in an institution all my life and then I wanted to explore really what, what was life um, so I also didn't feel I had the knowledge of how to break that cycle um, so yeah it was it was a bit difficult. Um, so what I did at that point really was I joined a company. Um, you may have heard of them. They're called Cleanies, or oh, Clean Easy, um, and it, that looked brilliant. And um, so it was it was in your spare time. It had potential unlimited income. Um, what you do is you deliver magazines. Uh, people would order um, from the magazines. You collect the magazines back. Uh, you get the orders in. So you'd you'd into the system, they'd deliver the orders and then you deliver it to the customers and make a, a commission on that. And um, so I thought, oh that's brilliant, it looks looks fantastic, I can do it on my own time, all this, that and the other. Um, but I cannot tell you the amount of back office work there was today. Um, you have to have to pay for the magazines that you never get back, in my experience. You had to go around, uh, I remember I had four areas to go around, so you go around each area once a month, four weeks, um, so you know it would take time to establish yourself in that market. Um, so first or second time you went round, I remember, you know, say you had week one, you would go around that area, say, you know, I don't know, 250 houses, say, um, about three or four times trying to get your magazines back. Um, and trying to do that in one week and then move on to the next day and do the same and do that for a month or two months or two, three months, it was, it was honestly, it was exhausting. Um, you had to put my reminder slips through the door. Uh, again, you never get those back, so you're constantly printing reminder slips, you might not get them back anywhere. Um, they, they actually delivered me a faulty product on my, I think it was my first or second order, which again, the customer, you know, that was the customer's first impression of me, so I had to. Um, you know, rectify that for the customer and do them a refund. Um, and having been on my feet all day in a physical job, um, doing that after work, honestly, it was exhausting. It was absolutely exhausting. And as you can probably imagine, I pretty soon packed it in. Um, it, it, it did work for some people. Obviously, it worked for my mentor, but it didn't work for me. Um, and what I did then is, through him, he suggested a book to me um, called Rhinoceros Hide, Developing Rhinoceros Hide, or something about developing a thick skin, um, <laughs> which was funny because I was thinking, oh, does that kind of imply that I haven't got a thick skin, which was probably right and probably something I couldn't say. 
Um, and from there I started my sort of personal development journey, I started looking at, the first person actually I came across was a guy called Les Brown, if you haven't seen Les Brown, um, Google him YouTube, L-E-S Brown, he's a motivational speaker, wonderful man, came from a very um, underprivileged background, um, and he's done great things with his life, um, and he, he does all these motivational speaking about how to really get your life back on track and how to really find what you are on this planet for and um, it's very inspiring, it's a different way of thinking rather than just oh let's do the daily grind, come back home, cook your own meal, clean your own house, fall into bed, wake up early the next day, do it all again. You know, I, I was thinking there's got to be more of to life than this, so that started my journey really. Um, I came across a, a guy called Brendan Bouchard who uh, does again is a motivational speaker. There's a lot of online courses and things like that. Um, and what happened from there was really we moved to home, my brother and I, um, we're very lucky we've now got our own place. Um, and I had a lot of friends from where I used to live over a hundred miles away and I just my journey had just made me into a different person um, because of the struggle, because of the the difficulty because of what I'd had to fight for and I just didn't keep in contact with them, I just felt I was moving towards a new way of thinking, I wanted to move towards a new way of thinking, I wanted to find the answer to, to break this cycle and it seemed so good from the outside but actually was really wearing me down and um, wasn't something I was passionate about. Um, so I kind of just didn't keep in contact with a lot of friends and that made quite a lot of space in my life. I think my parents at the time were quite worried that I was quite isolated in that. Um, but I, I made that space because I'd heard from these speakers that if you make space something will come in. Um, and I was actually one day listening to, to a guy uh, called Earl Nightingale, The Strangest Secret. That is fabulous. On YouTube, absolutely free half an hour only it will it will honestly it will change your life um and this ad popped up on youtube now i i'm not a commercial minded person i didn't watch tv don't watch adverts um and never follow up on them um and i don't know why i really watched this advert i think i just thought oh the video will come on in a minute i'll, I'll let it roll so I did, and then um, this guy was a doctor, and he was from Hungary, and he was talking about his medical practice, and then he said, oh, but he's also working this other way of life where he has his own business, and I was like, well, okay, <laughs> you know, um, that's nice that you're telling me about your life kind of thing, um, but something about what he was saying, you were saying, you know, if you think that maybe there could be another way of life for you, if you think that maybe you know you're interested in just finding out more first rather than just diving in head first, why don't you just click the this link, we'll just send you seven videos so they're absolutely free, um, there's one for every day, we'll just release them slowly to you and after that you see what you think, if you think it could be right for you or not really, it's, it's up to you, there's no obligation. And um, I just took a chance, I just I just clicked the link, as I say, I've never ever before in my life looked at a YouTube advert. Um, and since that day, honestly, and having watched those videos, it's changed my life. As I say, I'm now in a business where it's up to me how much I work, um, it's at my own pace. Um, before then I had asked for, for training from the company um, that I was already with um, where I'm working my new job and I don't know a way to say this without being blunt, but there is no way in hell that the company that I currently work in would invest in me as much as uh, the business system does. It, it really doesn't. The guys who founded this business changed to it. Um, they started because they had the same struggles because they they wanted more money but they didn't want to sacrifice their life 
um, and I think that's what I found from my interview today, you know, with the business that, or, or the job that I would have gone into, there would have been the sleeps where I would have been at my um, service users' home, sleeping overnight, working evening, working bank holidays, um, you know, a real investment into the business, sort of more living, half living there and half living in my own home. And uh, I just like the way that actually, with the business system, it's up to me how much I do. I don't have to sell my heart and soul to somebody else's ideal. It's my ideal, I create it around my values, what I want to do. I didn't have a product they gave me one, and um, they said, you know, you can help other people start their own business. I said, but I, I, I don't, you know, know anything about business. They said, well, by the time you've gone through the modules, you will. Why don't you help other people embark on that journey and, and go through these modules and, and get out of the situation that you were experiencing? They said to me, well, what, how do you feel? I just said, I was putting my hair out. I wanted, I was in a, a low paid job you know, exhausted, tried to take on another job, it was too much, I couldn't cope. I, to be honest with you, wouldn't have the capacity to go back to university. I wouldn't cope for three years in an institution again. Um, you know, I don't want to embark on another three, I feel like I should be past that point, you know, in three years time I'm going to be 30. Um, and, you know, what if I get to the end of the training and I go, oh my god, uh, three years ago this is what I wanted to embark on but now actually I'm not so sure it hasn't given me the return financially I wanted I'm, I'm selling my soul to this 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 job working 24 7 and I'm going to do that until I retire because now I'm in that job and again I can't afford to go back to education education again because I've got to be making money to, to afford a roof over my head and the bills and um and they said you can help people I said I I, I'm not an expert, I don't have a university degree, I, I, it's, I've left school, you know, several years ago now, they said, but you have something to give, I said, I don't know what that is, they said, we'll help you, um, and honestly, the, it's a huge difference in my life, it's, I am, I am starting to become a really different person because of the amount of investment people really want to help you in this business it's it i was so skeptical when it first came on they were like oh let me help you i was like what do you want you know what what do you want like well nothing what do you want <laughs> what do you want i know how to make it do you want to learn from it i was like oh yeah but surely you want something you understand these people just want people to live their lives rather than just survive so um and, and um so yeah really exciting stuff and if, you know if you want to watch the the videos that um started me off um we are doing some different videos and um, the founders that you will meet um they are phenomenal um, and you, you can see them for free if you go to pipweekly.com, which is my website, P-I-P-W-H-E-A-T-L-E-Y. I'm going to just say that again. I'm going to give you a second just to uh, get your phone out, grab a pen, write it on your hand, write it wherever, it doesn't matter. Um, P-I-P-W-H-E-A-T-L-E-Y.com. Um, and on, on any of the blogs there, because I, like, I love putting out content to kind of help people overcome quite a lot of the hurdles that I have overcome quite frankly um, you know I used to have a, a very low self esteem I didn't know it um, felt very stuck felt very isolated I needed help um, you know all the people around me were like just like oh well this is adult life you know you're, you're doing great you're working I was thinking oh it doesn't feel good um, so feel free to visit that site There's, the videos on there you can access, as I say, you'll meet the founders and the mentors, Stuart and Jay, um, and they will explain to you how this is can, can work for you, how you can actually not only just turn your interest into income, but also actually really develop and find out who you are, because I didn't know when I started this journey what I was passionate about. I didn't know the value I had to give, I didn't think I had anything to give. Um, and I just really 
feel if you are out there and you have ever felt the same way, if you feel stuck, if you feel like you're going through interviews, if you were just thinking, oh my god, you know, I'm I'm only young, but I do not want, I never want to go for another interview, I never want to open another job in my life, I don't have the stamina to go through this, it's grueling, it's difficult, I'm selling myself, building somebody else's dream, what's in it for me, apart from the money, what is it in, you know, in it for me, where, where is my life going, where, who am I becoming, you know, I don't want to wake up and just feel like I've been stuck in the same job and I've missed a boat, if you've ever ever felt like this, no matter what your age, no matter what your circumstances, um, as I say, I didn't have a lot of capital when I first set up this business, do feel free to visit that website, watch the videos um you know if you put in your email address we'll send them to your inbox so you can look at them when it pleases you and when it suits you um and really what you do from there is up to you um all i can say is it it's really has changed and is continuing to change my life um i am starting to do things which if you said to me six months ago you are doing this i i would have been like no way in hell <laughs> you know i i really can't and um, so yeah pipweekly.com and um, you've got nothing to lose you really have got everything to gain even if you think your life is hunky dory but you you know you don't really have a vision for the future you don't know you know in five years time where your life might be apart from it might just be the same maybe not quite sure really really take some time to have a think about yourself you know you have got or you could have a great future in front of you you just have to get access to those mentors and as I say they've, they've, they've really changed my life so I hope that's been useful and uh, as always take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.